Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and in this case, TelescopeNerd.com also. And uh, this is part two of my three-part series on how to make a reflector telescope. And in this part, we actually make the telescope tube assembly. Sometimes it's called the optical tube assembly. So, and I'll show you how I build this and how I put it all together, how I make the different parts. Let me give you a quick review of a reflector telescope and the parts in it. So here we go, we have a diagram here. There are four pieces to the telescope. The tube, right? The primary mirror, which collects all the light. This is what makes a telescope possible, right? So the light comes in and bounces off of that primary mirror. And then we have the secondary mirror. The light comes in and bounces at a 90 degree angle off of that secondary mirror, right here. And then goes through the eyepiece where you look at it, and that's this right here. So those are the four parts of the telescope. It's pretty, pretty easy. You just have to be careful in how you build it and make sure everything lines up very nicely. And uh, that's what I'll do. So let's launch into the tutorial on these four parts and how I put this uh, telescope together. Well, before we um, build this telescope, let's take a quick look at the finished one. There you go. It's all done, ready to go. Works great. And my hand there just gives you an idea of the size of it. It's four feet long, six feet, six inches wide. So the first thing you do is cut yourself the tube to your right length. You know, in part one of this video, I showed you how to measure all of this so you know what to do and the different measurements. But this is a six inch piece of nice cardboard tube that I have. Now, we're going, I'll show you how to build this assembly for the, uh, the primary mirror, which is going to go in the bottom of the tube, just like this. It's important that we have a little spring set up with this because you want to adjust that mirror so it works just right. So let's make that, that assembly. Um, this is one by eight pine, which means it's three quarters of an inch thick. And I'm cutting two discs. One is the size of the mirror that we just saw. And one is just the inside size of the tube. So about six inches. See, that disc is going to go right inside the tube there. Inside the tube, and you'll see more about that. So you get your two wooden discs, you cut them out. And any tools you want to use, I use the jigsaw. And then sand them a bit, and the large disc, the six inch disc, is going to slide in that tube rather easily. You know, it's a snug fit, but it goes in there, just like that. So trim it to size. So now let's build it. Put the discs one over the other, centered exactly and I actually drilled the center hole and pinned it in the middle so they both stood in the middle. But drill them out a little over a quarter of an inch because we're going to put quarter of inch bolts in there. Uh, I think one sixteenth over a quarter of an inch is fine. Three holes equal distant around like that. And you'll see how that setup is. And then I countersunk them. You countersink them so um, the flathead screws will fit snug in there. We're going to put the mirror on top of that. We don't want the screws sticking out. So see it goes down and the screw goes down like this. All three of them. So put those three bolts in there. They're um, quarter twenty by three inches long, and put nuts and washers underneath them to hold them tight. Now I'm, we're putting some springs on these. So I bought a little packet of springs at the hardware store, I'm cutting them down to about one inch. Put them right over each one of those bolts. See, we're almost done here. Uh, don't let this isn't very complicated. But a spring on each bolt. And then you can assemble this right onto the large disc. And you'll see how this ends up. I put, did put washers on top of those springs too. You know, everything gets washers, both sides of the spring. So, and there we go. See, we have a nice setup there so we can adjust the mirror. To finish this off, this part of this mount, I put uh, washers and wing nuts. The wing nuts allow you to just tighten them and adjust them. Watch. See, now we can adjust any one of those bolts and change the orientation of the mirror while it's in the telescope. That's important. So there we go. Now let's put the mirror on it. I made three clamps like this with a little bit of foam on them to protect them. This mirror doesn't get scratched. So just clamp that mirror down to that top plate, that top wooden disc. I uh, drilled some pilot holes and then screwed it right down. So there you go. That mirror assembly is done. It's not that hard. Uh, there's more about this on my website. But there we go. We can, this is, we can put this right into the telescope now. So, mount it into the tube. Remember, you sanded it so it fits nicely. 
get it flush, get it nice and flush. So it's nice and even and flush with the back of the tube. And then uh, drill it and screw it down. I use four screws, four wood screws with some pilot holes. Very nice. That was the hardest part. After this, a couple more things, and then we collimate the telescope. Collimating is aligning everything so it works properly. There you go, see? Nice and flush with the back, and we can adjust those screws to set the mirror. Now, we're going to do the eyepiece, some of the eyepiece here. We're not going to mount the eyepiece quite yet. Measure it out and mark it. Drill a pilot hole where your eyepiece is going to go there. You drill a pilot hole and then you drill a large hole, large enough for your eyepiece. That's it, so I forget the size of this, it's like two and an eighth or something like that. See, now we're going to do that little angle mirror, this secondary mirror. And this, I'm just showing you here what it looks like when it's mounted. And notice that I have a bar going all the way across like that. The full length of the tube, it's like a seven inch bar, a threaded rod, one quarter, 20 threaded rod. And <clears throat> I do it a little bit different in this video, but go with that if you're gonna make one of these. Go with a bar all the way across. I'll explain a little bit more. But well, let's make that diagonal holder. That's called a diagonal. Uh, seven eighths inch piece of dowel, you can use three quarter inch. Cut a 45 degree angle at it, because we need that for the mirror. Remember, the mirror bounces the light at a 90 degree angle, so we need that. Then I made this little setup with threaded rod, quarter 20, nut, with nuts and washers to hold it in place. <clears throat> and I originally did it this way with just a single rod, but it wasn't strong enough and didn't hold as well as I wanted it to, so I ended up going with the threaded rod all the way through. You'll see what I mean. And then glue the secondary mirror to it. I used Gorilla Glue, a really good glue. You don't want this thing falling off. <clears throat> That's an elliptical mirror, so it has to be nice and straight. The funny thing about it, if you look at it from a 45 degree angle, it's actually circular. That's, that's what the ellipse is. But you look at it this way, it looks longer. So we drill a hole, <clears throat> and we mount that mirror mount right into the telescope. You gotta make sure you measure it correctly so it comes out in just about the right spot. We can adjust a little bit, so it just has to be close. That's the way it's gonna go in there. You know, if you wanna make a telescope, I, you know, just go for it. You'll figure it out. There's uh, lots of resources on my website, telescopenerd.com. You know, it's a lot of fun. I mean, you can buy one, but I don't know. I, I'm making this one, I'm making a larger one too. So now that's the secondary mirror. That bounces the light off the main mirror, out the tube into the eyepiece like this. So let's take a look at what that's gonna look like. You want that to be centered right in the hole and in the tube. And, and we're gonna peek and, and I'll show you. See, you look in there and it's right in the center, although it doesn't seem, it's a little off. I have to adjust it. Also part of the camera perspective. And this is what it looks like in the end of the tube. Now in mine, I, I first time I did it with just that one half, I ended up threading a rod all the way through. So do that for strength and stability all the way through, not just halfway, like this, all the way through. That's much, much better. And you can, you know, thread those nuts back and forth to adjust that with the location of that is. So <clears throat> we're just about done. Now you can mount the eyepiece holder on there. I use um, 632 by one inch bolts with nuts and washers. Then we gotta collimate this thing. This is the hardest thing. When you look down the eyepiece, everything's centered. The diagonal is in the center of the eyepiece, the mirror is in the center of the diagonal, and then the reflection of the diagonal is in the center of the mirror. Everything's lined up. To adjust it, you can adjust this part here in a lot of different directions, and you adjust these to get everything collimated. And once you got it collimated, this thing is ready to go. We can look through it. And I can't get close with the um, camera here, but you can see that tree. It's working terrific. I'm really happy with this telescope, how it came out. You can see the leaves on the tree way down there, the small tree there, the far one, far away. And that's it. Paint it up. Don't paint the cat. He was black. He got in the way of the white paint. And you're good to go. A little touch-up paint. Have some fun with it. Typically, we use white so you can see it at night. Okay, that's it. That's the completed telescope. In part three coming up, and I'll have a link, 
I will we build a mount so you can mount this telescope. You can't just hold it and use it. You need a mount for it. That's part three. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Leave a comment if you got a question, you have any ideas. Lots more interesting stuff here on my YouTube channel. I do two videos a week. I've got hundreds of videos of all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, thank you. There's um, a ballistic sword and uh, all kinds of you know other stuff.